Hey everybody, uh, it's an update on the quinoa. Um, now there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, I just finally started getting some uh, some flowers growing on it. Um, this is where both of them are right now. Um, it hasn't been too long ago since I made the last video. But the main thing is, they have these sugary, sugary looking crystals that are growing all over the, the stems and part of the flower heads. and the little leaves that are coming in they're all covered in these little sugar sugar crystals um, I, I was wondering if anybody knew what it is um, I don't know if it was a type of uh, maybe if it was actually sugar like a sorghum um, or you know is that the protein in it what, you know what exactly is uh, is doing that and um, if anybody's ever grown quinoa or knows about that just send me a little message let me know what's going on with that just, just out of curiosity but other than that, they're growing nice. I'll show you a couple of what everything else looks like. We got an amaranth that's growing also pretty tall too. It's not sprouting up as fast as the quinoa is, but uh, the cherry tree. And down there is the spinach. A couple of things of spinach. But um, but yeah, you can kind of see that where a little bit whitish. Hmm. Oh yeah, and this is how uh, cucumbers are looking. The cucumbers and the peppers. Uh, now these are just sweet banana peppers. And uh, I don't know, somebody told me before that um, if they start fruiting or flowering and they're not big enough yet to take them off because don't let the, the plant use all the energy in the fruit if they're not big enough because you're only going to get a couple couple of them instead of a bunch of them it's not gonna grow nice and big but I don't know I would hate to pull that thing off let's look at this and there's another one right over here but uh, the cucumber filled out real good and uh, there's a bunch of little flower heads on there